Today, I will teach you the only social media content sales strategy you will ever need for the rest of your entire life. Now, I know you're probably like, Lauren, how is this the only content strategy I'll ever need for the rest of my life? Watch this video and you will find out. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Unedited, where we talk about all things sales, marketing, and mindset. My name is Lauren Nelson. I'm your favorite sales and marketing coach, and I help service providers and coaches just like you find their voice, own their expertise, and... <laughs> obviously sell online. Now today we have a lot to get into because I'm gonna be sharing with you the only strategy you will need now and then to help you consistently sell your products or services online. Now let's just take it back a couple steps because I wanna let you know why this strategy works, right? I don't wanna just give it to you and let you run off and do what you want. I want to give you some facts. When it comes to selling online, there is a specific way that you need to show up for your audience in order to nurture them into sales. Now, we all know that at the end of the day, if we are not attracting new people into our, whether it be to our social media pages, to our ads, to our sales funnels, if we're not attracting new people every single day, we will not sell. Right, and so what I love so much about this strategy that I will be sharing with you is the fact that it helps you attract. It helps you nurture the people you attract, right? Like people don't just buy immediately after they know you unless they are obviously warm and qualified leads. But when you use this strategy, it will help you attract, it will help you nurture those newly qualified leads and it will help you convert those leads as well. So I'm gonna keep this video short, sweet and to the point, okay? Let's get into the actual strategy. Now, the strategy is called the ACD strategy. Write this down. Write it down, okay? The ACD strategy, and it stands for awareness, consideration, and decision. Now, I go a lot deeper into these concepts, and I even show you real life examples in my free sales training, which will be linked down below. So you can definitely watch that. It's literally only an hour long. I highly recommend. It's the sales training you wish you would have taken a year ago. But I'm gonna go ahead and briefly elaborate just to give you guys a good picture of what it is that you've been missing out on for all these years in your content and business journey online, okay? So, like I said, ACD, awareness, decision, and consideration. Obviously, in the awareness phase, you need to be attracting people consistently. You need to make sure that your brand is being made aware. People need to know who you are and what you do because if people don't know who you are and what you do, they can't buy from you, right? Right, so this is why this part of the strategy is so important because it focuses on building brand awareness. It focuses on zoning in on the needs and wants of your audience so that they know that you are the person that they should come to. The awareness phase helps you build that ever knowing, everlasting presence that a lot of our favorite influencers have online, right? Where you just see them and you just, you know what they do, you know who they are, and you love seeing them on your TL every single day. So that's what the awareness phase is all about. You want to make sure that you are creating content at least 50 to 60% of your content, especially when you are first starting to build that momentum, should be in the awareness phase. Got it? Great. Now, moving into C, consideration. This is a point in the strategy where people are considering you. They want to figure out what their options are, right? They got you, but they got the girl over here. So what makes you better? And so this is when you start posting content that is more along the lines of, educational content. You start showcasing what you do. You bring them into how you do it, right? And that will allow them to build those deeper connections with you, right? Awareness is making them aware. Consideration is helping them make you a considerable factor in their life. Help them consider if they want to spend their money with you or not, okay? So you're starting to give them reasons why. Educational value. How-tos are also always so great. Also, 
in this section is when you want to start establishing your authority, establishing your credibility. Because at the end of the day, people will not consider you if they don't see that you can solve the problem, if they don't trust you, right? Trust is a huge factor when it comes to sales and building out the sales process. So again, we have awareness. That's making sure that people are aware of you, using words and terms that the algorithm will send to people who are talking about and looking at content similar to yours all day long. Again, we always complain about the algorithm, but really the algorithm is just trying to help us. I know when you're scrolling on your Instagram, when you're scrolling on TikTok, you see things that you want to see. I know my Instagram timeline, oh, it's beautiful. I see cats, I see puppies, I see food, I get new music artists like every other day. I love my timeline and it's because they know what I want to see. So what does your audience want to see? What are they looking at consistently? What audios are they listening to, right? I even use this example in my sales training. When you're thinking about the different audios to use, I wouldn't personally use some random country song singing some hoedown <laughs> when I'm trying to speak to a majority black community because that's just not what we listen to like that, right? That's not what's trending. That's not in our little bubble of my target audience, okay? And so by knowing that, and obviously that's just very surface level, but having a deeper understanding of who your target audience is and what they want, what they like, how they interact on social media will help you create better content in the future to make sure that one, you get into their timeline, right? And then two, you build that trust factor and you become more credible to them in the future so they can consider you as an option for their end purchase. Now moving into the last one, which is the decision phase, right? So decision phase is probably, these are all so important. I was about to say it was the most important. These are all very crucial, which is why I took them out of the six steps that are actually in the sales funnel. Again, I talk about it in my free sales training. You need to take it if you haven't already. But decision phase is when they finally make the decision to buy. They've already considered all their options. They've already binged watched your content. And that's another thing. And that's why the consideration phase is so important is because that's where they binge watch your content. And this is why I talk about even in one of my previous YouTube videos, why having a digital resume or digital real estate is so important because People binge what they want to buy, especially if it's high ticket. If somebody's about to spend over a thousand some dollars, you better believe they're doing their research because we are all working very hard for our money. We are all taking the time, energy, and effort to get these resources to us. So to put it out so easily, they have to make sure that it's valid, credible, and that you know what you're talking about, okay? So again, consideration phase is building out your digital real estate, building out your digital resume, but going back to the decision phase, that's when you're showcasing the transformation. So you're doing things like showcasing reviews, showcasing testimonials, talking about the case studies, what worked for your clients, what didn't work, before and after pictures. Again, it's all about the transformation. This is when people are already thinking about choosing you, but they need to see themselves experiencing what you have to offer. And that's a key point, transformation showcasing the transformation. If you go to your page right now and you realize you're not communicating the transformation to your audience, then you are missing out on money. You're missing out on money. If you can go to your page right now and see that you wouldn't consider yourself as an authority in your field, you are missing out on money. It's as simple as that. And so that's why I say that the ACD Oh, sorry if y'all can hear that, it's real loud. That's why I'm saying that the ACD strategy is the only thing you will ever need because it's based in sales and it helps you market effectively. It's both. A lot of people don't realize that sales is not marketing and marketing is not sales, but with this strategy, you can do both at the same time, right? So again, I want to invite you to take my free sales training. I will be diving so much deeper into this topic. I'll be showing you examples, showing you real examples from my clients, and I will be breaking down also the psychology behind sales so that you're not just posting because I said post this, but you actually have a clear understanding of how it actually works. 
What do your audience need or what does your audience need in order to go through that sales process with you, go through the sales funnel with you to become or start off as a perfect stranger and turn into a paying customer. I can't tell you guys how many times I have had people find me from a reel one day. They're just going through the reels, they find me, they binge watch my content in like 20 minutes and then they DM me saying they're ready to buy. Why are they able to do that? Because of this strategy I just shared with you. My content does that for me and I wanted to do it for you too. So if you are interested in learning how to create content that converts, content that gets you paid without having to be so frustrated and overwhelmed about figuring out exactly what to post because you know what to post. You have the plan. You have the strategy. You don't have to be like, okay, Monday motivation, fun day, Friday, uh, work day, win wellness win. I don't know. No more of that. That is first grade level business, okay? I'm taking you to PhD level business and we are making it easy, <laughs> okay? So with that being said, go ahead. Again, this training is only one hour and 17 minutes, an hour and 17 minutes to change your entire perspective on how you view business, how you do sales, and how you create content online, and will change your life and how much money you're making in this digital space because I know you're not just doing this for fun, girl. We know you're not doing this for fun, so let's stop acting like it. Take the free training and I'll see you guys there. I love you so much. If you have not already and you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe. If you didn't enjoy this video, subscribe. I love you as always and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.